the swimmers follows two sisters trying to chase their dreams in war-torn Syria. Yazra has big dreams to be an Olympic gold medalist, but her swimming goes up in flames when the country comes under attack. After a brush with death, Sarah and Yazra's father agrees to send them out to Germany in a bid to find refuge and salvation. With Nisra as their guide and confidant, the two girls set out across perilous seas, trusting shady traffickers all the way in the hopes of making it to Germany. For those who make it that far, the real fight for freedom begins as each of these refugees attempt to make a new life for themselves. Of course, that means Yuzra going back to swimming and attempting to make it into the big time. But is that a step too far for her? Do the sisters make it to Germany? Sarah and Yuzra eventually do make it to Germany. They decide against getting in the same truck as the other refugees they made the journey with, thanks to a shady man attempting to rape Yuzra just prior to this. As a result, Sarah, Yuzra and Nizer try their luck with marching alongside the other refugees for a way into Germany, having earlier seen news reports about this. After staying in a hotel that night, using the last of the girls' money to do so, Nizer has exciting news. He's managed to get them a bus ride into Berlin, and they don't even need tickets either. While the girls are dubious, especially after being duped by a truck driver earlier in the movie, they head over all the same and make it into Germany. Does Yuzra compete at the Olympics? Yuzra's dream of becoming an Olympic swimmer only intensifies when the girls get registered at a refugee center. While Sarah focuses more on helping others, especially given the news about bombings intensifying in Syria, Yuzra instead focuses on her swimming. By chance, Yuzra finds a swimming club and approaches the coach, Sven. Impressing Sven with her times, Yuzra trains hard to be part of the refugee Olympic team. Although she's initially hesitant about being an Olympian, people will feel sorry for, inspiring words from both Sarah and Nizer help her to take the plunge. Yuzra heads over to Rio, where she overhears other athletes bemoaning her lack of effort and how she's just there for a sympathy gesture, unaware of Yuzra's heroic swim efforts earlier in the movie. Yuzra soon shuts her doubters up though, outperforming everyone else and winning her heat. Is The Swimmers a true story? Yes, The Swimmers is based on the true story of sisters Yuzra and Sarah Mardini. Trained from childhood by their father, the girls dreamed of becoming Olympic swimmers. However, in 2015, after Syria was plunged into war, they had to flee their home and find a safe haven in Germany. The film focuses on their daunting journey, especially on the part where they had to tow a sinking dinghy for around three and a half hours to save the lives of 18 other passengers. Talking to Vogue about her experience, Yuzra Mardini explained that they had no other option but to keep swimming. We used our legs and one arm each we held the rope with the other and kicked and kicked. Waves kept coming and hitting me in the eye. That was the hardest part the stinging of the salt water. But what were we going to do? Let everyone drown? We were pulling and swimming for their lives she said. The sisters eventually went different ways when they finally arrived in Germany and had the chance to pursue their goals. They were offered to bring their story on the screen by many filmmakers, but finally, the responsibility to bring it alive on the screen landed on the shoulders of Sally El Hosseini.